Hi everyone. Happy Sunday. You Raider fans, I'll tell you one thing. They always talk about the Steeler-Raider uh, rivalry. Well, <laughs> it hasn't been a rivalry in years. You guys have been beating us every single year, and you did it again this year. So all the power to you guys. Uh, still looking? Okay. Leaving it right there. I'm not clicking. You know, sales, financial literacy educator, life and health insurance agents. Okay. Very powerful stuff we want to do. <clears throat> now, I talked yesterday about, you know, how things are changing in the life insurance industry. Percentage is going to, you know, it's going to drop down from 4% to 2% really soon. So those that have talked to me before, time to talk to me again. We got to lock it in. All right, because I'm going to go through some stuff right now. You have investment strategies. What is considered underperforming assets? Not that. You want your money to work for you. Okay, so you want to be sitting high on the hog like this. However, the government touching that insurance has just reduced the amount of time that it's going to take for your money to double. So I'm going to be going over that today. And this is, if something's unperforming, you got to get rid of it. And that's what that picture is showing you right there. If it's unperforming, get rid of it. If you're in the sports world and you're not performing, you're on the bench. However, our money does the same thing. We know it's unperforming, but we're still going to leave it where it is. It doesn't make sense. So I'm showing you this right now. Uh, okay. Definition of unperformance in the financial world. An asset that earns a lower rate of return that would be capable of earning if it were properly used. Think about that. You know, a firm with an underperforming asset is a prime target for takeover. That's just that alone. However, we're going to leave our money in places that it's underperforming, but we're still going to do it anyhow. We do it freely. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so this is what we have to do. We want our money to work and grow. And we want it to double as quick as possible because we only have one life and we don't want to take forever. So we want our money to grow. Now, I'm going to show you through here. Uh, if you leave it in a shoebox, okay, is your money going to grow? We all know that answer. Then you have it in these other investment strategies. These are simple investment strategies that that's what we believe. These are called traditional investments. Alternative investments are more powerful, gives you a greater rate of return. Traditional just means this is what they have. So you got those different items there, which I've talked about before. This right here is a wealth creation. Okay, using life insurance. This isn't exactly the, you know, the rate of return, but this is locking your money to a vault to use somebody else's money to invest to make more money faster. Make sense? Now, used to be 4%. 4% doubles? How long? I'll be talking about that later. Now it's dropping down to 2%. And the reason why the government's doing that is because it's tax-free money. So if your money's going to double quicker, you're getting free money, tax-free, that's all yours. Now, when they lower the interest rate, it's gonna take longer to double, so that just means you're not making as much money, tax-free money. So they regulated it, not that, yeah, I guess you could say to hurt you, because now you're, you don't have as much tax-free money growing. So what I have over here is different ideas. You got the shoe box, you got the savings, you got this one that I have up there, which is the highest I've seen in the savings account, money market, long-term CDs, and US Treasury bonds. And that's what they perform. Okay, so if your thing is, and if your money's performing to that rate, you got to be like that guy in the thing. We got to get rid of it. I mean, take a look at those. The biggest one you have is the bottom, which is one. Rule of 72. 72 divided by whatever the percentage is. And if you got one, it's 72 years to, to get your money. So if you're at 1.68, Gosh, woohoo, you're a little quicker than 72. But you better start from the day you're born. It's outrageous. So the rule of 72, okay? Oh, Got to go on this side. It's hard to read back on that way. So the rule of 72 is a simple way to determine how long your investment will take to double given a fixed annual rate of interest by dividing 72 by the annual rate of return you know, investors obtain a rough estimate of how many years it will take for the uh, initial investment to duplicate. Now, when you're an investor, you're not planning on giving your money to a savings account. It doesn't make sense. You're looking for greater rates of return. 
you have to double your money as fast as you can. Now, those ones that I just told you, okay, and I put it over here, so we have them a little bit smaller, but it's the same percentage. How long is that gonna take to double? Shoebox, never. You'll eventually not have any more money. Next one, 120 years. Are you on the planet that long? Look at the savings account. 77,200 years and we give our money freely to the banks. <laughs> Been there, done that. I'm, I'm, I don't do it anymore. Look at the next one, 1,028. 222. It's a lot of years, guys. There's your best one. This is the 1% one. So you're looking at 42 years, not bad. 42 years, you get your money to double. The insurance policy that I was telling you about, the original design was 4% guaranteed plus dividends, guaranteed 4%. Take you 18 years to double your money based on 4%. Never not paid a dividend in 110 years. So it would have even been better. Now the government doesn't want your money to grow that fast. So they moved it to 2%. Now it's gonna take you 36 years. Still not bad, 36 years. However, there are strategies out there. We have a very simple one, which we call the alternative asset income opportunity. Hence the word alternative. Alternative assets make more money quicker. Okay, so we have one that's, we call, that's exactly the one that I'm talking about right there. And we have another one, it's from VivaCor. Okay, VivaCor is a uh, <clears throat> environmentally, it's a technolo technology fund, which is uh, safe, safe for the environment. And we, we remove oil from soil and we turn it back in. Now that's an investment one. So this other one is just your place to park your money. It's gonna take you 4.96 years. That's pretty good. That's a good investment strategy. 4.96 years to double your money. Take your money out of that one that performs 0 0.01 and it's gonna take you 7,200 years. Why even put money into a savings account? What you wanna do is lock it into an insurance policy because you never lose it. If you wanna use it, you can still use it. And then you take it and put it into this thing that's gonna double your money a lot faster. Lock it and then load it, make sense? And then you have six years. Okay, so Vivicor six years, this one's thing. So it still outperforms everybody that we have. This one's 14.5% rate of return. Okay, Vivicor is 12. That's powerful, you want your money to double as fast as you can. We only have one life. 7,200 years doesn't make sense, but we give our money to the bank, right? Put in a 401k and all those other ends. They get a little bit greater rate of return, but you're going to get stock market's going to hurt you. You know it's going to turn. It's coming. I mean, I see things post or that they're putting on uh, YouTube and questioning the market. It, it, it's got to come down. It's hitting that. It's hitting that part right now. So this right here is for you guys. Like I said, this is just the payout for the alternative asset income opportunity. So if you put something in, if you had the million, but even at starting out $10,000, remember you're getting 14.5%. So 1,450 bucks your money's making. This is in there just for three years, 4,000. So like I said, 4.96 years, you're gonna double your money. You're gonna get $20,000. That's the fastest you can do anywhere else. Start a business, guys. I always talk about this. This is gonna be a slide that I do all the time. Okay, starting a business is very important. Take the money that you're making from your business, reinvest it, use an insurance policy. All these strategies work, work very well together. I did the one on the other day about salary. Can your salary make you wealthy? No, not at all. This is what's gonna make you wealthy. Start your business. We can help you get it. Our program is gonna help you qualify as a business to get funded up to a minimum of $250,000. Powerful, okay? Takes a little work, we're building your business but we're doing it on business credit and we're gonna get you qualified for it. That's my company. How you get in touch with me right there. And you gotta start picking up that phone quick and start booking these appointments because September's right around the corner. It's almost over. Okay, it's already the 20th, it's gonna be tomorrow. And I think there's only 30 days. So you only got 10 more days after that to lock an insurance policy so your money could double at 18 years instead of the government touching it and making it 36, all right? So that's it. Here's my company. So sorry about my Steelers. Way to go Vegas Raiders. So I got to give them a little kudos for that. It's kind of weird to say though. Uh, at Be Big Financial Solutions, be smart, be safe, peace out. Recapturing wealth through an insurance policy, alternative asset income, double your money in 4.96 years or six.
So hi to all, all my friends and family across the United States. Happy Sunday. Hi to my friends and business partners in the Philippines, Guatemala, and India. I will see you guys tomorrow. Be good. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe to get updates for new uploads. Like and follow us on Facebook at Be Big Be Your Own Banker. Visit our website at www.bebigfinancial.com. For inquiries call us at 702-476-6076.